Welcome friends. Today I have a Wantable unboxing to share with you. So we are going to see what Wantable sent me. This is an active edit and if you're new, my name's Meredith. I do all kinds of hauls and unboxings here on my channel so definitely be sure to hit the red subscribe button down below and we can hang out more often if that sounds like a good idea and good time I should say to you. Now this is my third video that I filmed in a row so just bear with me. I've had a lot of coffee and I'm not sure my hair isn't a little worse for the wear, but we're gonna go with it. Gotta get it all filmed. I have a busy weekend coming up, lots of stuff going on, and I want to make sure to get all these videos out of the way or I know I'm gonna be stressed and scrambling trying to get videos up. And this is a fun thing, not a stressful thing, or at least that's the goal of my channel is for it to not be stressful. So anyways, all that to say, let's unbox this wantable. So if you don't know about Wantable, they are a fashion subscription styling service. Here's my bundle. They send you seven items of clothing. Now this is their active or fitness edit. They do also have a style edit and they have a men's edit as well. I think it's a men's active edit, isn't it? I don't know. I'm not affiliated with Wantable. So this is just me telling you what I think I know. But so interestingly enough, there's a lot of black and gray in this bundle. So, which was kind of my complaint the last time. So anyways, if you like lots of black and gray, Wantable's the styling service for you. Go check it out. Um, I will have my link down in the description box below. It is a referral link. It's the same kind of referral link that you will get if you use their subscription service and you can share it with your friends. Obviously you'll get your own link, but you get the general idea. I believe it gets you some credit toward your first box. So if you are interested, you can check that out. But otherwise, man, this tissue paper is super crinkly. They do personalize their stickers. So it says styled for Meredith. So I think that's a fun touch. Let's get rid of this tissue paper because that crinkling is annoying me. And they do send you a mail back bag so you can toss in your mailbox, whatever you don't want to keep. And then they also give you a price sheet to go away. Uh, and I really like that they, ooh, I got some clearance priced items, yay for that. I really like that they give you, my address isn't on here, right? Okay, good. <laughs> Making sure I'm not showing the whole world my address. Anyways, um, they list out all of the items and they have a picture next to the description of the item, which I find to be very helpful as someone who gets, let's be honest, maybe more subscription boxes than is quite necessary. I really like that detail. Okay, so I think I inverted the bundle when I opened it, but first up is from Calvin Klein, and this is a nice uh, thick fleece jacket. A zip, I really like that it's full zip. That is my preference, so that's great. It is not hooded, and this is a 1X. This is Calvin Klein Performance, and it is made in Jordan. So it does have Calvin Klein embroidered down the sleeve. I don't love when a brand name is like across my clothing. I feel like if I'm gonna advertise for a brand, they ought to pay, they should pay me for it. And I'm not saying that as an unboxer, I'm saying that like as in general, like as a person, like I don't wanna, I don't wanna advertise for other people's companies. Clearly I do that and I'm doing that in this video, but if you use my link, I get credit. So that's a little different, right? Does that sound crazy? I don't know, anyways. Next item, I'm babbling. Clearly I've had too much caffeine. Next up, it looks like we have a pair of joggers. These are my, by Mark New York Performance. They are solid black, also a 1X. They're made in China. Ooh, <laughs> these are really, really soft. Okay, so I'm gonna admit that I don't own any joggers, like sweatpant joggers. Like I have a million pairs of leggings that I will just wear until they die. Um, but I have yet to find a good fitting pair of like lounge joggers. So we'll see if these fit the bill. Are you a jogger person? Do you like wearing joggers? Let me know. I did just film my Stitch Fix before this and I will probably post the Stitch Fix before this video. So if I have already done that, I'll be sure to link it up in the iCards for you guys. All right, so next up we have a pair of athletic leggings in this really pretty like cranberry red color. Really digging that color. Uh, this is the Rival High-Waisted, they're calling it Tawny Port. 
is the color and it says it contains recycled polyester which I greatly appreciate I feel like every brand should be doing that are these full length or are they cropped let's see what the, t the paper says yeah no nope, it just says that's it hmm. well maybe they'll actually be the right inseam for me yay <laughs> uh, okay so the Calvin Klein raglan zip up was is on clearance for $40 and the leggings that I have here are $54 and the joggers are 69. So they better be the most amazing fitting and the absolute softest for me to pay $69 for sweatpants. They're sweatpants. But if they're that soft, I don't know, maybe I'll maybe I'll make an exception. Okay. This one is <laughs> Sometimes my face just says it. I don't even need to say anything. Um, this is by MPG Sport. It is the Cardio Tea and Raspberry and an extra large. This is $20 as it is on sale, marked down from $38. It's the Cardio Tea. I don't know if I like the really boxy cut of this. Like, even just looking at it, like, it looks boxy. It looks like it's going to chop my shoulders in a weird place. And I don't love crew necks. Okay, rant for a minute. I don't love that so much of the athletic wear is all crew neck. I don't know about you, but I get hot. Like, this area needs to breathe. <laughs> if I'm actually going to work out or take a hike or something, I, I, I want to be able to have breathability now it does have this nice mesh detail in the back which would be great for the summertime but yeah we'll try it on who knows maybe it'll fit great and then i'll eat my words you just never know next up we have the groceries apparel oh and they it is made in their own california factory well i will say this one great thing about launchable is they do have a number of brands that are made in the usa which i really appreciate and i feel like we should support more of um, this one's in an extra large. It is a tie-dyed, there we go, sort of a v-neck t-shirt. It does look like it's rather a slim cut, so we shall see if it will fit. Uh, and this one is also, it's also on clearance. It is marked down from 58. This is $29. So yeah, I, I don't think I would have paid $58 for it as it is simply a very lightweight tie-dye t-shirt, but we'll see how it fits. And then the last item is gray. The fabric is nice and soft. Let's see, what is this? This is from Coliseum, it's an extra large. So I do have some plus size 1X clothing and I have some extra large in, you know, traditional sizing. I don't like to say normal sizing that seems snobby like oh it's normal sized in here plus size right what is with me today i've let all this attitude anyways <laughs> this is the cora hooded tee in gray extra large and it is 26. all right so here is what it looks like very very uh, basic very lightweight I will say that and it definitely has a rounded hem and a split on the side all right let's try these on because that is the real true test of any subscription box item hold up a sec I'm missing an item I was supposed to get the Kenzie ribbed sports bra in jet black for $48 that is not in my box so I will definitely have to reach out to their customer service department and let them know that there was an item missing uh, from this box um, and Charmaine is the one who styled it. I layered up three of the pieces for this first look. Uh, the fleece jacket is comfortable. The fit is okay. Uh, the sleeves are too long. That's not surprising. I like the length that it comes down to because I like a little more coverage. It gets pretty cold here in Minnesota pretty early. And so um, I like it if it covers my booty and just in general, especially if I'm gonna wear with athletic leggings. And um, yeah, the only thing I'll say is I have a black fleece coat that also has some panels that are like windbreaker type material. And I really like that. 
um, because it does get quite windy and I feel like fleece by itself doesn't actually keep you that warm if the wind is going at all. It's great as like part of the fabric, but I don't know. So I'm not sold. I don't love the embroidery down here. Um, so I think I'm gonna pass on the jacket. I don't feel like it's a wow piece and I'm looking for something that I'm gonna have uh, for years and years to come because I've had my last jacket for like almost a decade. So now this top is just weird. <laughs> it's just, um, it, I don't think it looks as bad on camera as it feels in real life. The sleeves are long and they're kind of wide at the cuff. I wish there was actually a cuff, but they're really tight up here. I don't know if you can tell it's pulling because there's like not enough room in the shoulders, which is hilarious because I'm quite petite. So, uh, especially up here. And so I don't know who this would fit. I can, I can understand why it's marked down because I think it will not fit a lot of people um, who might be broader up here, both in the chest area or the arms, any of that, or wider shoulders. And then the other thing I don't love is how high up this slit comes. It's really high. Um, and I don't like that because I don't want my stomach to show at all. And I feel like you're going to get, like if you raise your arm, if you are working out, you're going to see skin. The other thing I'll say is that it really isn't long enough to wear with leggings, which let's be honest, I feel like is kind of the point of workout athleisure style tops. At least they are, it is for me. So I, I think this is just a no. I can stop going on and on about it. It's just a no. The pants are pretty good, actually. They are a little, a smidge long, not horrendously so. There's a little bit of bunching at the ankle. Um, it does have pockets, which I have kind of decided that I'm no longer buying athletic leggings that don't have pockets, because well, pockets are awesome. So, uh, especially if I'm gonna take a hike, I wanna be able to throw a phone in one side and you know, the keys to my car in the other or whatever, it's nice to have. So the fit on these is pretty good. Let me know what you think. Obviously, I normally like to wear a longer top, so I definitely would. But yeah, I feel like the leggings are okay. Um, I don't know if I love, I think the cranberry color is pretty. I don't know, I'm undecided if I want cranberry all over my like hips and my booty. Let me know what you think. So we have items four and five. The top is $20, that's a markdown, and the joggers are 69. Um, the top is a pretty color. It's a weird fit. I do feel like it's boxy. It's definitely too short. Um, yeah, so it's just a no. I don't care if it's $20, I won't pay it. And the joggers are super duper soft, I will say that. Um, they're definitely long and bunching at the ankles. They are a good fit like through the uh, stomach, hip, and thighs as far as like there's definitely room to move. And if I were going to keep these, they would be, you know, for lounging. Um, here's what the back looks like. Uh, as I put my hand in the pocket, though, I will say that the pocket is sewn <laughs> crooked on this side. I feel like I'm being super negative today. Um, it's like got bunched up when they sewed it. So like one pocket you put your hand in it and it's shaped and smooth just like it should be. And this one, like your finger is getting caught in this weird gap because it's sewn incorrectly. Um, so if I were going to keep these, I would definitely want to exchange. I don't feel like the length is ridiculous but I'll definitely watch the footage back um, to decide for sure if I think it's, um, you know, something I want to exchange for. They're really soft, but again, $69, kind of pricey for sweatpants. Let me know what you think. Item number six is this tie-dye top. Uh, I think the print is cute. Uh, I like the neckline of it, but it is definitely slim cut <laughs> like I thought it would be. Uh, it is quite skin tight, um, definitely no room for shrinkage, so I will definitely send this one back as well. 
if I were going to keep it, I would definitely want a size up. I do think a size up would probably fit well, um, but I'm not, you know, really in need of uh, t-shirts that are quite this expensive. Um, especially not going into winter, I would be definitely looking more for long sleeve shirts versus short sleeve shirts. So I think I'm gonna pass on this one and I don't think I'll bother to size exchange. So honestly, all in all, the leggings for $54, the, the cranberry colored leggings are the only thing I'm even going to consider out of this box. Um, I, I will say that I know that staffing issues are a thing, totally get that. And I totally get that they might have extremely low inventory because we all know there's lots of stuff just sitting in the Pacific Ocean waiting to be unloaded. So that aside, I'm not impressed, but I have a feeling that might be why I'm not impressed is because they just don't have inventory. But yeah, I, I would say fit issues, missing items, and just, just no, <laughs> just no. I feel like I got the clearance rack in a box, kind of. And, and also, you know, defective items because I can feel this pocket and I know I would not keep these pants because that would drive me crazy. So yeah, not impressed. Um, I'm gonna consider the cranberry leggings. That's honestly the only thing I really truly need feedback on because I'm pretty sure everything else is gonna go straight back in the bag and straight into my mailbox outside. So until next time, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Let me know if you have been getting any subscription boxes that have been really good lately. And you guys know I'll be talking to you soon. Bye-bye.